top three tips for the question bank is uh, use the bookmark icon judiciously do not bookmark every question and uh, solve the question bank both synchronously with your studies and asynchronous so uh, it helped in uh, revision also and uh, in the later part of my studies i started solving the question modules like hashtag games or hashtag neat or hashtag clinicals i really like the previous year question uh, done by dr ravi raj and he would cover all the previous year questions in the video itself i really like dr rakesh sir session dr uh, rohan session uh, i really uh, like them dr uh, singaram and dr rohan sir uh, there was integrated uh, session just a few uh, days before the exam and i really enjoyed uh, the sessions Hello everybody. I am Dr. Saurabh Kumar Singh. I secured the rank six in the uh, recent INICT exam, in, uh, which was conducted in July 2021. I did my MBBS uh, from Maulana Azad Medical College, New Delhi, and uh, I started using Marrow in my final professional uh, year in 2019. And Marrow was the sole QBank uh, which I used during the preparation, and I began using it in my final year. Uh, so uh, i started making my notes in the uh, third year itself but i started uh, doing questions um, in my final uh, year uh, using marrow so since then i am continuously using marrow and it has helped me a lot whenever i would read my notes i will do the question bank together and i will mark those questions which i found it useful and i'll go back and do these questions again and uh, I'll write the MCQ IDs on the corner of the of my notes or the pearl ID, which helped uh, me uh, in the revisions. So during the internship, I don't get much time. So whatever time I could get, maybe four hours or six hours in a day, uh, I'll use that. But after internship, I think uh, on the most days I'll be uh, studying for at least eight hours or ten hours a day. So I tried to solve at least two or three modules every day, and I solved at the end, I think, 522 modules. Like everybody, uh, the previous year toppers and many faculties of the Marrow would uh, tell us to solve at least uh, five modules a day. So I started solving it at least maybe three or four modules a day, and this become more consistent after the first marathon, which was conducted in the April 2020. Uh, it helped me a lot in and building a routine and gaining some momentum on solving the question bank i would follow the routine of the uh, marrow grand tests so in the initial phase of the study it was uh, like one gt per month then later uh, in july or august i shift to two gts uh, per month then from i think april or february onwards i started solving one uh, gt every week I think the review of GT is the most difficult part of the preparation, but it also helps you to know you know the weak side of the preparation. Um, the marrow uh, GT review is very good. It it shows us the all the graphs and it shows us where we lag. So uh, I'll focus more on the last three subjects um, which I scored less in that GT. I'll revise. Uh, that so i don't do mistakes in that uh, subjects in the next gts uh, during the gt review i i would focus more on the last three subject and the questions i get wrong in that gt regarding the uh, previous year question i initially neglected those question but i later realized after my first nicet that uh, these are the important uh, these are the very important source of the question as the questions and the topics are repeated in all all the aims exam so i i solved i started solving the previous year questions from january this year and i think i did all the previous year questions whatever they were available for the aims for the aims exam in the initial part of the study itself i scored around 200 out of the 300 in the gt and in the recent inicet mock i scored um, one 131 score i got a rank of 350 uh, so while doing the questions i'll get to know the important points of that topic so uh, if there is anything new which were not there in my notes i will 
write in separately or i'll just mention the question bank id or the pearl id uh, that helped me a lot in my revision especially the pearl id having both the images and the tables so uh, if i get a question wrong or perform badly in a question bank module i'll revisit my notes and i will write those points uh, which were additional in the question bank and and then i will uh, solve those questions again i i think i really like all the features of the app uh, i really like how beautifully all the questions were uh, arranged topic wise and subject wise so i don't have to waste my time searching for those questions and those modules uh, i really like the question bank tracker so i could know how i'm solving the questions uh, and it would help me schedule my studies uh, i like the bookmarks uh, feature and there were three tracks available and you could use it uh, according to your own preferences so i think i use the mcq id the most i'll write the mcq id in one corner and the pearl id in one corner i'll just search those questions so they were really helpful in the revision uh, so i use the recent updates so i don't have to look for those updates on the web i'll just uh, get all the recent updates at one place i really like the um, grand test analytic feature i think it's the industry standard i couldn't find it uh, that good um, analysis of my grand test anywhere else so uh, the graphs on the grand test feature were, were really good i could uh, track my performances over the past and uh, the most useful feature were uh, how i'm performing against others on the te test i really used the uh, feature the last three subjects that were the uh, week on that grand test so regarding the revision strategy uh, i joined the testing discussion in the last year january and uh, i would follow that schedule and i would uh, solve question banks according to uh, the subject schedule and then uh, from mid september i i started my first revision and it was completed uh, before the first ini cet which i gave in november 2020 and then from that point i would revise the subjects in the more uh, scatter way rather from the cover to cover and i would use the grand test to analyze uh, which were the most weak uh, topics so i would revise only those topics multiple times so uh, during my revision when i would uh, revisit uh, my notes i would make use of the mcq id and the pearl id which i have written on one corner of my notes i will just search those questions and the pearls i will get uh, whatever the questions i want really fast and that helped me in the revision uh, very much regarding the uh, special preparation for ini ct exam i would uh, recommend every aspirant to solve the uh, previous year questions and to watch the um, youtube session done by mara faculties Uh, on the previous year questions, and then uh, do the bio statistics part and the latest updates in the PSM. Uh, there were questions in this year uh, INICT also, and in uh, anatomy do the uh, cadaveric images well. I solved the uh, cadaveric images uh, test on the marrow, and they were really helpful in in my preparation. Uh, in physiology, do the graphs and do. and then biochemistry do the all the enzymes of the gluconeogenesis and all the previous year questions my advice to my juniors is to make a habit to solve question bank daily uh, make a plan maybe solve two or three modules at least a day uh, do the previous year questions they are the most high yielding uh, material available you will get to know the most high yielding topics uh, from the previous year you can and we use the bookmark feature more judiciously so you have a narrow range of the question at the end of your preparation to revise so uh, studying during the pandemic was very uh, was very much difficult i had to manage uh, both the duties and the studies at the same time and also the exam being postponed because of the second wave so i was uh, really disheartened when the exam was just was postponed just the three days before the neat pg and uh, like everybody else i was off the track and those uh, live sessions of marrow we are with you helped me to uh, came back on the studies and uh, on the track and to trust myself
so i thank almighty god uh, for this rank my parents my friend my family and the all the faculties who were always uh, there i could uh, message them anytime and they were always ready to answer my queries and uh, i want to wish all the very best to all the uh, meet pg aspirants thank you so much